Hi, my name is Neil Sanderson. In this video, I'm going to show how we can use InTouch Machine Edition to do tag integration with the Rockwell Control Logix PLC. The first thing we need to do is to click the Project tab. From there, you can click on Communication. We can add a source. This ties us directly to the PLC. We choose the type of PLC we want to connect to. In this case, a Rockwell Control Logix RS Logix 5000 family PLC. We give it a name. This is a logical name that we use as a prefix for the PLC tags so that we can separate PLC tags with the same name from different PLCs. Let us just call it PLC01. Then we click Add. Now we need to configure the PLC address. I already know the PLC address for my PLC. It is 10.2.68.116. You have to add the PLC address for your PLC. We now choose the Rockwell Control Logix L5K file. I have a file in my folder that has the configuration of my PLC. This file has been exported from the Rockwell Configuration tool. Now you just click OK and the system has been configured. Let us build some graphics in InTouch Machine Edition that use the Rockwell PLC tags. Make sure you have your Graphics tab clicked. Go to Screens, right click and choose Insert. Use the default settings in the window. Now I would like to add a rectangle. I would like the rectangle to behave like a bar graph. Double click on the rectangle. To tie this to the PLC tag, click on the ellipsis. This will open the tag browser. The tag browser will show all the tags in the solution. We have project tags that are specific for this project, system tags that are pre-configured, and devices that show the tags that are integrated with PLCs. Here I have PLC01 that are configured as a Rockwell Control Logix. This PLC is using a lot of arrays. For this animation, I want to use float register 2D array 0. I want to use the first index member of the array. Click OK. The tag is now linked to the rectangle that fills the bar graph. To fill the bar correctly, we have to set the minimum and maximum value. This tag is varying between minus 100,000 and plus 100,000. I would also like to show data as text on the screen. In this case, I want to show an integer. I know that this value can be up to 100,000, so we make it six digits long. I want to make it easy to see the data in the video, so I'm scaling it up. Again, double click on the text, click on the text data link, click on the ellipsis, choose the tag that we want to see. It is integer tag 2D. I want the first array index, so I choose zero. Click OK. Close it. That is all I need to do. Now let's go to runtime. The system is now connecting to the PLC. You can see my integer counter is counting up and my floating point variable has filled the rectangle and is counting down. This is all that I wanted to show you in this video. This is how easy it is to integrate InTouch Machine Edition and Rockwell Control Logics PLC.